Hockey fans, welcome back to the Abbotsford Entertainment and Sports Center for tonight's post-game wrap-up. The Bridgeport Sound Tigers taking on your Abbotsford Heat. And the Heat dropped their second straight home game, this time a 3-1 decision to the Bridgeport Sound Tigers, but not without a lot of entertainment here at the Abbotsford Entertainment and Sports Center. Let's get to the highlights, shall we? In the first minute of the opening period, uh, Malden gets a great goal out in front uh, for the Tigers. A good, good chance out in front by his team. A couple of chances, then Malden slips in his eighth goal of the season. That leads the Tigers in goal scoring. It was 1 0, just 101 into period number one. Later on in the period, Pellock had taken Malden hard on the boards, got a penalty for it on the power play. Watch Flood here. Flood from the top of the face-off circles in the top of the slot. Straddles the blue line and fires a shot past the screen. Leland Durbin. It was 2-0 at the 11.25 mark of period number one. At that point in the game, Bridgeport had nine shots on goal. The Heat just four. Well, guess what? The Heat get the last 13 shots of the period. They're fired up. And in the last second of period number one, watch this goal. Watch Matt Pellock. He gets the puck deep on the right-hand sideboards. Throws it towards the goal. He, Sutter, Michael Backlund, they all fight for the puck. And watch the referee here. It's important to watch him. He's in great position. He's on the puck side of the net. And you see the puck right in front of Lawson's pad. Lawson, the goal tender for Bridgeport right thought he had it under his pad in fact again, it was out in front of his pad Matt Pellock stayed hard in the puck jammed the puck in you play to the whistle time. folks this is a die this is a big time reason why you play to the whistle Pellock gets his second of the year it was 2-1 after one period of play big goal for Abbotsford gets him right back in the game the heat go out in the second period they put 25 shots on goal the problem was Lawson stopped all 25 of them. He looked great in the second period, but his Tiger defense, even though they gave up the shots they gave up in the second period, did a great job at keeping the Heat outside. That led to this third goal on the line until the Tigers come back in across the line. Pardon me. They walk in, right-hand side. The puck goes out in front of the goal, and on the back door, Trevor Smith is able to direct the puck in with his skate. Now, watch his skate here. You see him drag the back skate in front of the goal. Watch it again. He drags the skate. He didn't kick the puck, the puck in, but he dragged the skate. You can redirect the puck in as long as you don't kick the puck in. On that particular play, Le Coulier, who was backwards in the play, I'm not saying he was out of position, but he was farther back in the play, didn't see the kick or the drag. It's a goal, 3-1, contentious goal at that point, and that really was the difference in the game. In that same period, on the power play, Jason Jaffrey, on the penalty kill, had a breakaway. Great save by Lawson to keep the game 3-1, and that's where it stands. After two periods, third period, not a whole lot going on. Six shots on goal each team, but again, the Bridgeport Sound Tigers do a great job at locking down their offensive zone by doing a great forecheck. They forechecked in the heat zone. May the heat chase the puck all the third period. They couldn't get any real reason shots on goal in the third period. These two teams meet on Saturday night. Game time will be at 6 o'clock right here at the Abbotsford Entertainment and Sports Center. For the Abbotsford Heat, my name is Dave Sheldon. We'll talk to you Saturday.